If this a game, 2K, one of a kind. 2K, that's by my thigh. 2K, rest I don't fly. Ooh, a monkey barrage. Uchi hot test on my high. Hello guys, I think I'm Hercules here. Welcome back to the channel. And for anyone that's new, welcome to the channel. Why don't you go ahead and press that like button, that subscribe button, and go ahead and share that video at the end if you like it. Let's get right on to it. I don't waste time. So off the beginning, I must say I made a fatal mistake that one of my subscribers actually came to me personally on Messenger and said, why didn't you talk about Boulder's Gate? What is wrong with your fucking brain cells? Are you motherfucking inbred? And I was just like, my bad, yo, because when I was shooting them motherfuckers, when I was uploading the video, I said, oh, they gonna think this shit fire. I was like this. Give me the rock. <laughs> Swish. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get it. He kind of wanted me to touch on how the, the depth and the, the level of creativity you can do in that motherfucking game like, it, it seems to be this thing, and this stuff, I actually didn't want to talk about Baldur's Gate 3. I wanted to talk about really good games that push the envelope in general. It kind of seems to be this thing in gaming now where if a game really fucking hits, other publishers and developers, well, publishers don't give a shit as long as they get their money. Other developers are like, what? Wait, hey, no, no, that's, that's not a good mechanic. That's not a good, that's this, like, to the point when Elden Ring released... I can remember Horizon Forbidden West developers coming out and just critiquing the game. You have Far Cry Ubisoft developers coming out and critiquing the game. And it's the same shit here. Whenever you actually see developers coming out and going at a game, it's usually because that game is so good and they don't have the creative freedoms to do those things. And it, it so it's like. It's like that's their only method is to attack that thing and make it seem like it's not as prestigious or as unique as it is simply because them niggas just can't make the same shit. They ain't got the resources or they had the resources and they go to the publisher like, yo, we got this fire ass idea. Oh, my God. It's going to be so creative. People want to love it. They're going to be like, how much money is that shit going to make? And they ain't got no answer. So you don't get the fucking product. Hey, how y'all like the video so far? I ain't going to lie. I'm letting these motherfuckers go. I'm going off a no script clip. I'm just letting these motherfuckers spray. <laughs> it's time to get fucking at because anyone that knows I think I'm Hercules knows my favorite video game of all time. No discussion, no debate, no alternatives is Jet Set Radio Future. Jet Set Radio. Let it be etched in history, wrote through time, and recorded in the goddamn documentaries. I love Jet Set Radio Future. And the fact that we got not one but two Jet Set Radio fucking likes. And they were so fucking good. Sega said, all right, I ain't gonna lie. We need that. And that's what we really need. If you guys want to see some of the other games, like some of the niche games we used to see, shit like State of Emergency, shit like Manhunt, we need like a double A developer to make that game and then that game to be good and make money. So then the triple A motherfuckers will actually hold on to our properties. Let the motherfuckers go if you ain't gonna make them. Let them the fuck go. But they're not. Because it's potential of money, that, but that's what makes them go, hmm, maybe we should make one of those, see if we can make a few millions. Money. And well, the good old rotation has rotated. Destiny sucks in its current state. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm tired of this shit. I don't know who else tired of this shit, but I've been, I've been dealing with this shit since 2014. I'm not even going to re-edit. Because that shit, that's my actual frustration coming out. When I start to, my vernacular, my, my fucking verbiage start to get a little off kilter, that means I'm getting very fucking upset about shit. I do not like what they do. I don't like their business model. I don't like, I just, I don't understand what the fuck they're doing here. Um, this game is only alive currently through its community. Without the community, this game would have fucking died. It would have been roasted in the pits, somewhere buried beneath underground in the sewage. That's where that shit belongs, in my opinion. I don't like a game that's good half the time and bad half the time. My love-hate relationship with this shit is turning more towards hate, and it's like a hate-like. Right now, that's where it's currently. It's not even installed on my console despite having the space for it. I'd just be like, nah, because, all right, it's a free-to-play game that's not free. Um, Where the fuck else is a problem? It's... It, it, it has so much focus on this cosmetic bullshit. 
It's such a restriction on, like, it puts so much restriction on, like, your power fantasy. If you're going to do a power fantasy game, let me feel like the strongest motherfucker thou art to be. And I don't like that shit. I don't like the fucking $10 every whatever the fuck. That's not free because all the content is behind that. And then I don't like the DLC that I bought being taken out of the fucking game. I just don't like a lot of shit about Destiny. And I don't know if I'm going to return. My whole shit has been, I will finish this 10-year journey that Destiny started. And I don't know if I'm really going to be there for the final shit. And I guess last but not least, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about this bullshit. Xbox owns every fucking thing. They own everything in the goddamn world. But here's the problem that I'm having. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. All right, one, they don't have like some of the heavy hitters. Some of us are still safe. No, see, but hold on, though. This is the part where it get crazy. They went so far, they bought stuff that PlayStation. They used to make games for PlayStation. <laughs> Yo, y'all bought Crash Bandicoot, bro. Like, why would, like, what is the point of even doing that aside from just taking Crash Bandicoot from PlayStation? It just is getting out of hand, and my problem really comes in this. Are you motherfuckers even going to make good games with these shits that y'all got? Because y'all bought Arcane Studios, <laughs> and then y'all had to make Redfall, which is literal asshole butt cheeks. It's asshole butt cheeks. I can't believe that y'all made them make that game, and that's going to be my problem. It's not about y'all having all these shits. It's about y'all having all these shits and doing the wrong things with them. Let's not forget Microsoft is America. America is capitalism. Capitalism mean the money come first. The money come first mean the quality and the creativeness come last. And that's why I am fearful of this. And you're putting other gaming, you putting like gaming developers and like game companies in a position where they go, fuck, now we have to buy companies too. Just in case you buy one of the companies that make games for them. It's like, and my whole thing coming this. Why didn't Microsoft just make new studios? Why did y'all just buy the industry? I guess it's big bank take little bank. But for me, it's, I don't know, monopoly to release shit games. That's how I look at it. A monopoly to release shit games. That's all I got, guys. Share it to your friends. Share it to your friends' friends. I ain't gonna lie. When I release this one, I'm gonna be the same motherfucking way. Lone wolves are rebels playing by their own rules. Look at the name I signed. Butts McButts. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never do it. I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nature, a ratness. My own shit, I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spastic square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip.